guys, welcome back to the channel. Alright, this video I am taking care of the B3 bunker. So, right here on the map. So, this is the most uh, sought after um, bunker, definitely, of the entire map. That's probably where uh, this area right here with the C3 town, boot camp, and the bunker. This area, area right here is probably the most active. That's where there is the most kills on every single server days. Simply because that's probably where the best loot is. You got seven armories in this bunker. And a fair bit of loot has been added. Now this is more a bunker on which you are going to get guns. Uh, you might find some padlocks and so on. But very rarely you will mostly find uh, a lot of guns in there. So I'm going to wait for this uh, make to... Do three more steps forward, four, four, five, whatever, and then he stops here, and then he's gonna turn himself, and we are gonna go in. So he got multiple shows to go into this uh, bunker. I'm gonna run, and then I'm gonna start on here and stay in this bush. I can't even rush to this one. All right, so we are gonna wait for him to go all the way in front of the bunker, then turn around. He has four rotation, so this is the one we go after. As soon as he goes, we are good to go inside. So just jogging, it's enough. And uh, you don't have too much gear, I shouldn't hear you. All right, anything there? No. And we are good because he's doing one other four or five steps in this direction. So this is the northern entrance of the bunker. The hatch is located on the southeast, I believe. Yep. Alright, let's do a quick run. All right, nothing interesting so far. Puppet to deal with. Alright, since the new kill box has been added. Oh, it looks like he's stuck here. Okay. Uh, this is the where you go inside the kill box. So I'm not going to open, but. Very often you will have exploding puppets spawning in those area. Alright. So they're getting un oh, unstuck. If you could not lock to him, that would be good. Please do not lock to him. You gotta press V so it does not happen. So I'm gonna make sure it does not follow me. There you go. I'm locking him in there in case somebody is going to be uh, following me. Alright. And then I can search. I don't have to hit him. This is kind of my little alarm uh, when I go in a bunker. I like to do that. I'm gonna wait for this big boy to go boom. Thank you. No, it was into the main room. Okay. Alright. <coughs> so this is the way towards the kill box. We are gonna go there first. And usually you're gonna have spring puppets spawning in there too, so you gotta be careful. Search all of these. Most cadavers. So this is where the kill box is. I will do a few videos of what is my best plan uh, to get into one of these. <coughs> I've done a few of them, and uh, if I am doing it solo, it has been for a ratio of about. 2 out of 10 lately, but uh, that is since the new update, so just keep that in mind. There is a lot of harder... Um, it, the, the admin, the, sorry, the developers, I will say, are currently uh, tweaking the system. Try and make it harder for uh, players, or at least make it fair for everyone. So that everyone can get a chance of doing it. <coughs> but it, it does require a lot of preparation. I believe the uh, electrical electrician gloves will be uh, something that will be as helpful in the future. And that if you don't have them, you are most likely going to die from it. Alright, so now we are on the other side. Uh, right on the other side of... Okay, I'm gonna just stop that quickly. Put that in the magazine. And that's on my head. There you go. Alright. 
so now this is the other side of the main uh, room that we are at we can already can have a pistol ready to go for now I will really do your best to keep it quiet not shoot just keep on using uh, your uh, stone axe if you are on your own so this is the uh, way towards the hatch so it's very very easy to uh, the main entrance is on the other side of this door and the hatch is right here we're gonna let search for those then we are gonna go and do the seven armories don't forget the beans the beans uh, can find you can find some small cadavers some it's always something you can find that could be useful later on don't don't ignore them I might need to do a quick patch I'm going to do that while I wait here. Sounds like this weapon is stuck over there. Give them a the ammo. Oh. So that on that. So this way we can put the gun in uh, our backpack if we don't find a space. There we go. Drivers, perfect. You can go and lockpick those new lockers. The new lockers, don't be scared of going to lockpick them. They are really not ha not hard to do. And everyone doesn't matter if you have lockpicking skill or not. Everyone gets the same amount of time and it's just as easy for everyone. So you don't need any TV skill at all. On the contrary, it will help you make some fame and develop your TV skill. So don't be afraid of those. Go for it if you can. The only issues of this bunker is that it, you're gonna have a lot of trouble to find bobby pins to be able to go and lockpick it. I would not waste. Um, I would not waste any um, good lockpicks on them, simply because this is going to use uh, use them, and you really don't want that to uh, to to happen on uh, something that might not even give you anything in return. Because those lockers sometimes when you lock the game don't give you now anything. I've got a 50 and we've got a 357. Let's see what we find later. Alright, so because there is seven of these armories, I'm going to mark them as I'm doing them. So for now I'm not lock picking it. I will do that later. When I've got bobby pins, which I'm hopeful to find in here. All we need really is a one box of bobby pin. Looking on, Got an apple here, some bread. That apple is at 10%, but at this stage of the game, which is in December 2020, uh, there is no sickness due to eating elements that are low in health. So keep that in mind. Still alright to do that. I'm going to do this to be sure that I pick up my gun in case there is somebody that comes. We are gonna do this armory now. Got some pants. All white outfit. That's fine. Holsters, perfect. We're gonna put our gun in it. And we are gonna keep on searching until we find something good. Oh, some M16 ammo tracer. That's good too. Alright, that's two armories that are done now. So two on this bottom floor. You will not find any on this part. Which, so we are back to the main area if I go through here. So what I'm gonna do is quickly search this. Hopefully maybe to find some baby bobby pins, lock, lock picks. No, not this time. Alright. Actually the health, no health on my clothes is fine. I'm not going to worry too much about doing that right now repairing my clothes so this one is not um, an armory this is the access to the side uh, place I will show afterward you don't you can go through it but there is no, not really anything in there at all so there's really no need to go there we are gonna keep on going this way and take care of this but pet okay close the door Go to sleep. 
Don't forget to search them. Sometimes you can find red dots. You can you can find scops. Which are rare. Not this time on. Alright. So over here we have examine room. I know now do I used to not uh, spend too much time in it. I know do spend uh, and go and search everything simply because there is a chance for you to spawn uh, to get a, a, a key card from them. So go for it. We don't even need to make our own. We already have one map remade, so we can make a little bit of fame repairing our clothes and leveling up our engineering, as you can see right here. We had basic 321 to 354. It's not a lot, but when you are just starting, it's good to use and make. All right, this should be. Um, this is a big boy, so what I'm gonna do is get him stuck in this area that I've already done. This way, I can take care of this armory easily without having to kill him. So, by reflex, as you can see, I went to try and open these. But there is nothing, no way to do it without a lockpick, so. We are gonna go through them all. And hopefully, we are going to find some bobby pin at some stage. So don't forget to search these two. I've, uh, I have managed to find some key card in those. So, don't ignore them. You can find some stuff in there. Alright, so. My, that's my best way of counting. I've, I know I've already done uh, three armories. I know there's four more left. So I'm going to focus on these first. And then I will go and loot the middle and uh, be out of here. So same thing. This does not lead anywhere. This is leading to the side. I was going to say before. So those two doors here and those two doors there do not lead anywhere. Apart from uh, this side leads and to the uh, back. Uh, corridor just that just goes in here Charging and then in there battery. same thing for the other side and goes through the other, this side and uh, you got a door in, in, inside this uh, corridor you can come in and go in here but there is nothing in there usually people log out in there or uh, so they can uh, keep on farming the bunker and that's about all you they are gonna find here right, you can pick up those up sometimes sometimes it doesn't let you See, my hand came up for part of a second. And sometimes it just doesn't I'm gonna let it you. It's not it's not showing up in my vicinity as you can see. Because those shelves are a little buggy. They are, I think they have been they have put the spot point a little too low, so it is spawning inside uh inside it. Which is why you can't get Alright, let's go on to this side, go to the armory. One here, I'm gonna close the door for now, take care of the puppets after. Alright, got a helmet now. Still have the 357, I might get rid of it. And uh, take this 1911, because we have bullets for it. And I'm, I'm going to load it. Same thing, I only have like 8 bullets in this one, and about 6 in this one, so... I am just making sure this way that I've got 2 guns ready to go. And they are in my shortcuts to access them. You can use shurikens. Shurikens are not very efficient. Uh, can be difficult to throw it. If you, you are, really have to go for a headshot. And I miss. Ow. It's fun to use, but I would not recommend going with it. Hey. Die, please. Thank you. So, over here we have a laboratory. So, same thing. I used to ignore it, and I do not ignore uh, those places at all anymore. I'm gonna place one of these. I do not ignore the laboratories anymore. Even uh, towards the end games, simply because of the kicker spawn. And the possibility that would be great to find some bobby pin. This this uh, bunker is very difficult because there's not a lot of it, of pieces. So finding uh, lock picks and uh, things like padlocks is a lot more rare. But you will have a, more, a bigger chance to find guns. So it's, it's 
Scudavers spawn in there too. Those spawn of the Scudavers, the small one, I have seen them spawn everywhere. From the beans, uh, from even inside of these. Well, padlocks are, whoops. They spawn really everywhere. So go for it. Search everything. Key card are the same. They spawn uh, nearly everywhere. I've not found it any beans yet. I don't think it does. But I guess it is a spawn point, so it is a possibility. Alright, some mask. Finding a key card would be great. I'm going to patch. And I'm gonna resume searching. Oh! So we only have one, but I will take it because, well, so far it's only one. <laughs> So don't forget those single safety pin, they are no, a lot more useful than they used to be. Let's search this boy. Oh, lady, sorry. Whatever that puppet was. Uh, nothing interesting really. So we are gonna keep on going. To, to the next armory. Same thing, I want to place a marker in front of it so that I know I have done this one. This server, this server, this... Uh, bunker is not too confusing, but sometimes, you know, uh, you run around, you kind of lose where your north and south is. You are not too used to the to the bunker. It's good to place markers like this. It doesn't have to be just for that, but... Yeah. There you go. Another screwdriver right here. So they really do spawn everywhere. I have found them everywhere. Which is really good. Alright. Sit. No, I can spend my time looting uh, the entire area right here. I do remember I'm gonna take this in my hand. Take the magazine off, add the bullets, and then put it back on. So I know I have eight bullets in this one, and I believe eight in this one too. I don't have any more nine millimeter. No, now there is the 45. Oh, got another one of these, but oh. Bobby pin. You can start lock picking. So yeah, just use the basic lock picks. You don't need to use the the, the best one. It's easy. It doesn't matter. Uh, you pretty much have. You have. Everyone gets 10 to 11 seconds when they are lock picking it, and. Uh, that you succeed or not, you're gonna get uh, a use of the Skoda Verna. Uh, please give me something. Bobby Pin would be great. This is the issue because there's not uh, many offices at all in it. So this bunker is great for the weapons, bullets and so on. Particularly on Halut server, you will see uh, a lot of people of bases around this place because this is where people mostly go to for the bayonet for M16. When you are coming inside the, the area and you open those, those doors, I've seen a lot of people camping and just waiting right here, ready to shoot you when you open the door. Same thing for the other side. People love to camp from there and shoot underneath. The number of fights I've seen happen there is quite quite impressive. Token shell. Oh, got some more nine mil. I will come go back to it. Alright, so for some reason it's not letting me. Ah, because it's there you go. It wasn't inside the box. Double click on it. You put it back in. And now we have 15 bullet of each. Alright. Now we have two guns ready to go. I am getting quite full actually. I'm going to put this one back on the shelves, not in the middle, because I want I don't want to leave any uh, traces that I have been there. So gonna do a full turn of it. Right, we have done it all over here. So what I'm gonna do now? Pop. I jump. 
on those boxes. Gonna drop it on the side, then this is gonna try and this one. Full looting, more scholars. As you can see, it is everywhere. I don't not I do not need food right now, so I'm gonna drop this bread. I did not do those when I come came in. I came in through here. So So armor piercing 30 millimeters. I will leave it in a box because it does not stack in 30s. So scrap metal. And then I'm going to go back to one, two, three, four, five. We have two more, which is where I was. So downstairs here. I'm gonna do and finish this one. Still hoping to find more uh, lockpicks, craftable lockpicks somehow. No bobby pins, unfortunately. All right. Press the door. I'm going to take care of him quickly. This puppet. So, more screwdrivers. I'm going to lockpick this one quickly. Success on failure at the same time. <laughs> That's a new one. Alright, gonna quickly craft this lock picks. I will make some space that way. I will try also to uh, this screwdriver with the less possible tries on it. So there's one out of three. This way, I will be able to make some more space. Ah, nearly fell this one. And this one first go. Uh, do not have any more. So as you can see, you have a big uh, chance to not get anything at all out of it. So this can be a bit frustrating, but to be honest, it's not that big of a deal because there's so many of the scrollover spawnings everywhere. That everyone, everybody can get a chance at it. This bunker might be a bit more complicated due to the lack of uh, bobby pin spawning, but that's all. Every other bunker has a lot of offices, and usually you are gonna find plenty of plenty of scrollers and plenty of uh, and of lock picks. The bigger scrollers that you use for raiding are a lot more rare, but you do happen to find them too. All right. Nothing from this puppet. I'm gonna mark this one. And I believe the last one should be over here. There you go. Last armory right there. So I've got a small vest. This the health of this one is at 39. This one is at 36. It's only 3%. It's not a biggie, really. Now we have two guns probably full full. And ready to go. Better health. It's not a big deal. 3% is not gonna do much, honestly. Just the, your chances of uh, it uh, breaking is going to be a lot lower, more lower. There you go. We got some a safety pin box. So we, no, we can go and lockpick every single one of these. And we got some pink boots. Perfect. We got the look. Alright, let's go back in there. I will quickly craft all those uh, safety pin and put them in a bundle and then I'll come back to use. Alright, so I crafted four of these. One open. We got somewhere to put these bullets. Get rid of the paper. It's gonna be too heavy, so I'm going to do that. We do not need this anymore. We do not need this anymore. Just got in the folder. We don't need not need the wires. Uh, 
So we got a full clip of AK, got a full clip of M16. But so far we have not been able to find any. Alright, I'm gonna keep on lock picking. So very much from the start, I start pressing F, and if it starts turning, then I will change from there. Alright, AKSU. We have done it all. What, no, what I'm going to do is bundle it. So we yeah, bundle it, pick it up, and move on. So this one has not been done. There you go. So we can place that. We can go back to the other one and lockpick every one of them. See if we can get more guns. So it takes a bit longer now to, to go through a bunker. It's not a simple run and go. Take this one. Okay. Seems uh, I forgot to do one before. So what I'm going to do now, because I know I've done them all, I searched them all, I'm just gonna start removing them as I go. Did it. Sold on. Let's go and find all the other ones that we marked. So we know we have markers everywhere. We remember where they are. I'm gonna go upstairs on this side. There's none on this side. So let's go to the next. Upstairs right here. Get back in. So as you can see the number of screwdriver I've gotten from this place is huge. You, you have more than you are going to need to uh, lockpick. So every time I'm going to craft four, I get my try my luck at it. So one left. Did not get me anywhere. And uh, less further, so I just went to the other side. So very easy. So lockpicking. Choose once. Press space to start it. Start pressing F, see where you go. And you go on to one side, see if it turns more, if it's turned less. If it's not turning at all from the start, just move to position and try and find that other sweet spot. That's all. It's very easy. Pick the lock. Space. Nothing. Nothing right, nothing left. So it's on the right side, and there you go. And you keep on moving until you find it. That's easy. So not right. That was not left, I mean. That was right. And we've got a knife. So I'm going to rebundle re -bundle all of them. them. Same thing. I've done this one. So I'm going to the next. Do not, no, we came from there. So we're going to go through this way. There's none here. I forgot to, to close this door. So destroy it. Go in. So locked. Same thing, and craft the lock picks. Craft yourself four of these. And just repeat on every one of those armories. Select them. Pick them up. Nothing left, nothing right. That was just a lot more left than pre planned. You can go left, you can go right, it doesn't matter because it is random. Middle. Uh, I'll run out of space. Make sure you have enough uh, space on your uh, keyboard to do it. Alright, we got a better 45 now. So, what I'm gonna do is... It looks like we lost our M9. That's that's okay, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna take it in hand. Remove the ammo, drop it. Take this one in. Chamber bullet. And we keep on lock picking. Okay. Flashbang. It's good to have. Press this on number five, and then I'm gonna click this little hand so that when I go and press five, as you can see, put it uh, down 
into the G, which is my throwing uh, button. So next time, if I'm, uh, I can even be aiming with a gun. I have my pistol in hand, and if I go and press G, it's going to throw a grenade. Try not to flash yourself. <laughs> Alright, let's pick the last rock. Testing it says success and failure at the same time. Alright, let's go to the next one. We have three more armories left to go unlock it. So the trees are on this side. So none here. Keep going, keep going. Let's get the big boy stuck in this area. There you go. Ow! Trying to get hit on the way. Big piece. Did it already? Oops. Come back to here. There's only one upstairs on this side. So I'm going to destroy this one. And again, same thing. Mark 16 M16 ammo. Don't hesitate on this one to move a lot because it starts moving very early. Nothing. Done is. Oh. All of that. Oh, nothing. Pick up the last three. And we are gonna go run to the last two. We are not even gonna have enough bobby pins. Down. Back up down here. First one we went to. Destroy it. Go in. So as you can see, I'm, I'm using those blueprints for anything. Sometimes I mark my car with the flag blueprint. Sometimes I mark boxes that I've got. Some people use the, them so that the, once the blueprint turn red in the distance, they can see it and they know if somebody is there or not. Caliber. All right, this was the last one we are going to be able to do. So that will be half to do and we didn't find anything. Alrighty. We can get rid of the box. And then we can make our way out. So... I need to make my way this way. So only one armor is we couldn't do it because we need not have enough lockpicks. So this way is the way towards uh, the main big uh, doors. And this one is towards the hatch. And if you, I was to go this way, I will go down to the kill box. Okay, search these. Search everything. It's time to go. Be careful of these rumbles, it's very, uh, as you can see, I put uh, a mine inside it, and you cannot see it. Uh, it's very easy to people to uh, hide them in there, so I'm gonna call, see if I can spawn one. I'll show you that it just disappears, even the big ones. There's already one in it, so this might be a bit more difficult, but as you can see, you can just go drop it there, you cannot even see it. You can arm it. And nobody, nobody will ever know that is actually three mines down there. All right, let's make our way out. There is a way to avoid it. So when you are up here, jump, 
and go up to the side. But there's still a risk that you're gonna uh, blow on it. Sometimes you can avoid it. If uh, somebody that put it there did not put it properly, you can uh, sometimes avoid it. All right. It's a good hole. Didn't get much luck. We only have an AKSU and it's not even... We don't have the bullets for it, but we got some AK, some 7.62, some 5.56, M16 mags would go with it. So hopefully you got a box somewhere buried or something uh, at base or otherwise that we'll have to wait till the next time you find a gun. So it's stop right in front and it's gonna go past in front of me. And this is where I'm coming out. I wouldn't run full speed like I just did. I've gotta be careful but after a little while you can run, get behind those rocks. And that's it, you're out. You made it through the B3 bunker. So keep in mind, this is probably the most, the busiest on any server, the busiest bunker there is. And the probably also where there is the most mines too. So keep that in mind, they are everywhere. And uh, people love to do that. Um, depending on the server rules, but I'm mostly playing on officials, some uh, currently on a private server. And we go on, test everything that everyone has. And uh, so far it's all been fun and games. And uh, I hope to see you guys into one of the server, maybe at some stage. If not, well, hopefully I'll see you around on scam. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.